my tools, I mean, I, I can say that I don't have a lot of tools. Sometimes I'll use a little marker or a little brush marker. I, I, I try to keep the tools at a minimum so I can at least, uh, you know, travel light. Um, and, I, and I like to think that I can create a film without having to use digital means. So this is just, I don't know what to say about it. It's just that it's something good will come <laughs> if I make enough little hieroglyphic symbols something is going to come out of this maybe in a few hours maybe by tomorrow look at that I'm starting to get a human face here so maybe this will be a character in a new film I think it's really important to get to know the um, the, uh, the material that you're working on it, uh, it should be a real material just like your hands are real and the ink is real you shop around a lot the inks, the types of material you use, until you found the perfect ink. I know that Brack, as you just mentioned, mm -hmm. is an expert mm -hmm. on inks. Um, you know, the inks ended up killing him, you know, <laughs> indirectly, well, in, um, directly. But he was one of the most people who, you know, who knew more about ink than anybody else. Yeah. Um, is, is that important? I mean, exploring the different inks and testing different inks, each ink gives a different result. Uh, Very much. I mean, I it was uh, that with Brackage was the aniline dyes it, that gave him the cancer that killed him, and uh, and, I, and I know that I've tried dye and I've tried acrylic India ink, I've tried water-based inks and oils, and, um, and and I think I I'm really satisfied that there's such a different look in every type of um, material that you put on film, and not only that but there's a different effect on the on the film on the plastic side of the film, what we call the base side, and on the emulsion side of the film, which is more like a kind of a concentrated jello or gelatin that it absorbs um, liquids into it. So uh, you start to see crackle more and, and uh, water-based material tends to have more of an effect on it. So uh, I mean, I like, to, I wish I was an expert on inks, but I like to, you know, uh, I, I, I guess maybe that's my goal too, is just be an expert on the material. You mentioned that you, you work on both sides of the film? I could, and I, sometimes I do. Um, they produce, like you said, different... Different effects. I mean, in this case, this is a base, uh, plastic base on both sides, so the effect would be the same, but it would be like painting on both sides of a, uh, of a stained glass window, where the more you put on one side and on the other side, you'd be blocking a lot of light. Uh, if, it was a, a, if it was filmed with a base and emulsion, I would get definitely get two side two effects uh, one a more um, um, smooth effect and another one where the ink seems to be absorbing into the uh, the gelatin base into the gelatin emulsion side so uh, it would be a little bit of an, one effect on top of another which I like too